Right everyone, welcome to Electra here. Right, I thought I would do an updated video on my self-defence items video. So before I go any further, I will do a disclaimer. Although all of these things could potentially be used for self-defence, if you use any of these items, you could be convicted of a crime, which would be carrying and using an offensive weapon or something similar to that and then also whatever you've done to the other person but the point of this video is every single thing here can be legally carried on its own as its own standard item none of these things are weapons uh, but if you did use them in a situation like that you could get convicted of a crime for it. So there's a little disclaimer. I've said it out loud to everyone. You don't need to write it in the comments. Everybody knows that you cannot carry anything in the UK as a weapon. But these items here, all of these items that you can see here, can be carried on you legally pretty much without any excuse. So these are the ideas I've come up with and our previous video where we discussed it and I've found some more ideas that I think you could carry um, you know and you can defend yourself with these items but just be aware if you do defend yourself with any of these items you'll probably be convicted of a crime but these things can be legally carried up until the time you use them as a weapon the other thing is if you carry any of these items and you say they are for self-defense it's automatically classed as a weapon then and then you can be arrested so as I've mentioned these aren't to be carried for self-defense but these are items that you could use as self-defense in an emergency if someone is attacking you trying to kill you or if you're in say some kind of terrorist situation where a terrorist is trying to kill you if you had some of these items on you you could potentially protect yourself but doing so would be a crime. So, what have we got here? I'll go over the thing that people probably see straight away. Some knives there. So, I would never ever recommend carrying a knife. Again, you can't carry any of these things to self defense anyway. But, a knife with a blade under 3 inches that doesn't lock is legal to carry. So, all of these knives have no lock on them. Some of them have a flipper. So you can get them out nice and quick. So you get knives like these. This one again, no lock. Thumb stud to open it. This one's got a little flipper. Don't come out quite as easy as the other one. But all of those are legal to carry because they are sub 3 inch and cutting edge blades that don't lock. I'll show you some of the defensive kind of things you can get because some of these are sort of offensive some are defensive so the gloves I'm wearing tactical gloves these can protect your hands but they do also have hard knuckles that could give you some protection cut sleeves they are designed for um, they're, they're work environment things really but they could protect you if you get the best ones you can find they could protect you from someone trying to slash you with a knife. There, this is called a bump cap, which is basically a cap that has a hard shell in it. Similar to a hard hat, but not quite as much protection as that. On the knife part as well, you can also get knives like this, which this is a non-locking blade knife but it also has a torch on it batteries run out on this at the minute but this has a powerful torch that has a strobe and uh, if you've ever had a strobe shone in your eyes you cannot see once that's been deployed in your eyes so even or even a torch that doesn't strobe when that's being sh shone in your eyes you cannot see anything so a combination of sort of a multi-tool and a torch is very handy so here, body armour, 
where body armor can be expensive you can get stab proof vests and or stab resistant vests and bullet resistant vests second hand on ebay which are as good as any you can buy new they're x-police if you just search x-police stab vest or or whatever similar thing to that you can buy these for around about 60 quid that would be dual layer ones as well which is the stab protection on its own is cheaper but um bullet and stab it's slightly dearer but you can get a cover and the two panels for around about 60 quid so boots a pair of decent boots with steel toe caps can be very handy no one can stop you wearing those and you could easily protect yourself with those if need be so let's go on to the items on the stab vest here so here interesting looking thing it is not pepper spray it is a criminal identifier so what these are is basically a ink that if a criminal tried to mug you rape you whatever attack you you can spray this on them and it marks them you can get different kinds of those there's a smaller one there i would just say about those though if you carry one of those and a policeman stops you and finds it he most probably will arrest you for it you probably won't get convicted of it same with the knives although they're legal be prepared if you carry things like knives or things like this because it looks like pepper spray you'll probably get arrested but not convicted and knives you may get stopped have it taken off you possibly arrested even though they are legal to carry yeah the criminal identifiers are perfectly legal to carry but it's because of what they look like and they can't be sure until it's been tested what it is you'll probably get arrested and taken off you that's not a guarantee though bottles are good no one can stop you carrying a bottle so bottles of beer that could be a good self event item and also something I found metal bottles so this one's perfect shape for holding in your hand filled it up with water no one can stop you carrying a bottle. You could also even freeze the water in it. it. Has a lanyard so it can't be taken off you. And yeah, you know, it's a proper bottle. I put the rubber handle on this to have, you know, the sort of rubber bit there, just to make it a little bit more grippy. But yeah. Bottles. So next torches. So there's a lot of torches you can get. A mag light is very good. I put a, a lanyard on mine, but mag lights are very heavy. They're good torches. You can modify them to have strobes and more powerful uh, batteries and that and lights. Yeah, they're very good. But you can also get smaller ones. So again, strobe and a powerful light and can be used, you know, in, in lots of different ways. And you can get smaller ones. And even small ones like that will strobe. That takes a single AAA battery and it strobes. Keys are another good thing. You can put a lanyard on that. Use it to swing around. This one has also got a small tactical pen on it. I'll go over tactical pens in a minute. It's got a glass breaker. And then you undo that there. And there's the pen. And you screw it on that way. So then tactical pens. You get no end of tactical pens. This one's got a light on it, there's the end, this is a tactical pen style torch, stainless steel pen and aluminium pens. But I absolutely love these uh, things, they are absolutely amazing the stainless steel ones. Uh, nice and long so you've got a nice protruding bit and a nice glass breaker for smashing a window in case you was in a, you know, car or something so back over here this is a coin pouch you wouldn't see people carrying these much nowadays but you can get more modern looking ones basically it's just a pouch for holding coins um, yeah and you can imagine the kind of strength that would hit but yeah this this isn't a sort of very modern looking one but you can get more modern zip-up ones 
Another thing, umbrellas are very handy. No one can stop you carrying an umbrella. You get little ones. You, know, you can get ones with metal handles, it would hurt more. So there's that. But you can also get, obviously, the larger umbrellas. And this one has a very strong shaft and very strong handle on this, and that would be a very good self defense item. Then you get walking sticks. This is a very big, heavy duty walking stick. But, uh, you know, it just represents any walking sticks. And then you've got a bit more of a gentleman style one here. Walking sticks give you reach. Um, yeah, loads of um, uses for a walking stick. These slash proof gloves, which I meant to mention earlier, very handy. Not really on the offensive um, part of it, but on the defensive bit. If someone tried to attack you, you could at least grab, you know, if they tried to attack you with a blade, you could at least grab it with these. You can get uh, chainmail gloves as well. Uh, some people recommend having a butcher's chainmail glove with a rubber workman's type of glove over it for grip. Belts was one that people mentioned to me. So a large belt, you know, it has a heavy buckle, but also the belt can be wrapped around your hand. Scissors, you can carry scissors, uh, you know, it depends on who you are and if you've got a sort of reason for them. What I would recommend, if you was going to carry some scissors like that, have it in a tin, and in that tin make sure there's something that would need cutting with the scissors, like a strip of plasters. Tin was one that was mentioned as well. So you could hold a tin and have it like a hammer, use it in a hammer grip sort of thing. And then if you can carry it, a chain. See, because some of these things need a little bit of an excuse if you if you know what I mean. Um, you can't just carry a padlock on a chain. If you're riding a bike and you have a padlock a chain on you, that's acceptable. You can't just walk around with a padlock and chain but you can walk around anytime with gloves on uh, an umbrella a walking stick boots bottle of water bottle of beer in certain places um, all of the armor kind of stuff can be worn anywhere yeah it's down to you really oh, one thing I haven't mentioned rape alarms they can be very handy even for men probably not for the rape issue but if you was out and about at night and you did get attacked and you was bleeding heavily say something like this pull the thing out and hopefully someone will hear it and come out to investigate also a good thing to carry in a tin like this small first aid kits um, um, but yeah first aid kit you can also get those granules that you put on large lacerations to stop them bleeding quickly yeah so those are my ideas let me know what you think as I've said before and I'll say it again though anything you use as a weapon automatically becomes illegal but all of these things can be carried up until that point none of these things are weapons in their own right they are just items that you could potentially defend yourself with if someone is attacking you. I would say I would always recommend avoiding situations first, running away, you know, if you if you felt you had to use any of these kind of things, do it as a last resort. And if your life depended on it, do not you know, I don't recommend using any of these things really, but you know these are for it. Here's some ideas for you if you if you need it, basically. Yeah, that I'm pretty sure that was everything on there. Let me know if you have any other ideas or things you think wouldn't be any good really. Physical fitness is something that's always uh you know, you should try and be fit, but we can't all be fit. We can't all we can't all be big blokes either. Um you know you get older, you get injuries, you may be a small woman, you know, or just a small bloke. Uh, 
maybe multiple people trying to do things to you at that time. You know, lots of variables to everything. But yeah, the only thing I would really say, stay safe, be aware of your situation, call the police, run away or whatever first. But these are some items that potentially could help you if there was nothing else you could do. Right, I hope you enjoyed the video, I hope you found it helpful. Don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe and all that. And I will see you later. Right, before you leave, if you ever wanted to support this channel, you can now via Patreon. Or by shopping at Amazon.com and Gearburst. There's more info below if you need that. Remember, if you want to get full notifications for this channel, click the bell. And uh, I'll see you later. Cheers.